Understanding, Resort to Violence, a Guide for English Learners. Hello everyone, and welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into an important and somewhat sensitive topic in the English language, resort to violence. This phrase is not only common in news and literature but also carries significant weight in its meaning and implications. Understanding it can help us better comprehend the world around us and the actions of individuals and groups. So, let's break it down together. When we say someone resorts to violence, we are talking about a situation where an individual or group decides to use physical force or aggression as a means to achieve their goals or resolve a conflict, often after other methods have failed or been deemed ineffective. The key aspect here is the choice to turn to violence, implying that it was not the first option considered but rather a last resort. Resort. This part of the phrase signifies turning to a specific course of action. When we use resort, it suggests that the action taken is not the initial or preferred choice but rather one that is considered when other options seem unavailable or unsuccessful. To violence. This specifies the nature of the action being taken. Violence, in this context, refers to physical force used to harm, damage, or intimidate others. It is important to note that violence is generally viewed negatively and is associated with a breakdown of peaceful or diplomatic solutions. Understanding the phrase, resort to violence, is crucial for several reasons. It helps us analyze news reports, historical events, and literature more deeply, recognizing the complexities of human actions and decisions. It raises awareness about the importance of seeking peaceful solutions and the consequences of failing to do so. It enables learners to engage in more meaningful discussions about conflict, peace, and human rights. In news, after negotiations failed, the protesters resorted to violence, leading to clashes with the police. In literature, faced with relentless oppression, the protagonist resorts to violence as a means of asserting their right to freedom. These examples show how the phrase is used to describe actions taken in desperate, high-stakes situations where the actors feel they have no other option for achieving their objectives or expressing their demands. Thank you for joining us in exploring the phrase, resort to violence. We hope this video has not only helped you understand its meaning and usage but also its significance in discussions about conflict and peace. Remember, language is a powerful tool for understanding the world and expressing our thoughts and feelings. Keep learning, and see you in our next video.